here we go. Uh oh, I think. All right, let's hope that that bus does not come back. Let's hope that that bus does not come back. All right, so yes, uh, first of all, it has been a very long time since I have flown the 737-800 in X-Plane, all right? And this is the Zebo version, the Zebo mod version, so it's a lot more realistic than the default X-Plane version. This is a free uh, download. Uh, X-Plane comes with a uh, Boeing 737-800, but uh, a guy, some, somebody named Zebo decided to create a, a modified version of it um, to give, you know, so that all the buttons actually work. It's a little bit more realistic and things like that. So it's actually a little bit harder to fly as far as uh, the default one because there's a lot more buttons to press and a lot more things can go wrong, all right? So uh, without further ado, let's hop into the cockpit. Or I should say the flight deck and here we go. Uh, so we're starting here, cold and dark. Yeah, it's uh, early morning in San Diego. Sun is just rising out here. We'll be headed to Las Vegas today. So let's go ahead and uh, get this baby fired up. Um, now I've gone through here and tried this a few times, so I think I may be a little bit better at getting started, but at the same time, it has still have been, it's still been a very long time. So we'll go start from the top. We'll go up here to our battery, on and cover. And hold on, I need to, I actually can't hear the sounds. Turn my sounds up so I can hear. And also we're gonna go ahead and turn the music off so we can hear the, the nice sounds that uh, ZMod has to offer. So, there we go. All right, cool. We'll maybe add some music back later. All right, standby power on and covered. Ground power is now available. I'll turn that on. Nice, nice, nice. And all right, so next, uh, let's go ahead and get the uh, logo light on. We'll turn on the wing and wing well. Seatbelt signs. No smoking signs and seatbelt signs. Let's see. Yeah, we got a few, I see we got a few co-pilots. <laughs> Oops. And uh, guys, as far as the quality of the stream, it's up to you, depending on what your internet can handle. Uh, if your internet can't handle it, you may need to lower the quality of the stream um, of what you're watching on YouTube. So it looks good on my screen. Graphics look amazing. They look great. So depending on what your uh, internet can handle, you can turn that down. So if you're getting lagging issues like that, you can go ahead and turn down. Um, you can go all the way to 720p, 60 frames per second. So if you're, again, if your YouTube or internet cannot handle that, then go down to 480. But on my end, it is looking good. All right, uh, we're gonna hit the window heat. And uh, fans, we should, I think the fans are already on. Yeah, they are. And then we'll go up to, we're gonna go to align the, uh, the IRS. I think like that. There we go. All right, then we jump back down to our FMS down on the bottom. And we'll type in, uh-oh, what did I do? Init ref. We'll be starting off at San Diego, Kilo, Sierra Alpha November. That'll go right there. And then now we'll jump back up, up top. And we'll switch this to nav. And we should be able to go back down here and that'll give us the option to copy this and paste it there. And yeah, that's it. And we go to route and we'll type in our destination, which is gonna be Las Vegas today. Kilo Lima Alpha Sierra. Like so, and then uh, right now, all of our displays and stuff are gonna be, it's gonna take a little bit for them to align. So uh, we will not see everything we should see until the uh, iris is aligned. All right, uh, let's go ahead and do our flight plan. Today's flight will be flying. It's in the description, by the way. And if you're watching on Twitch, the uh, today's flight is in the, uh, what do you call it? The channel feed. All right, today we're flying from San Diego International to Las Vegas International via the Pebble 6 uh, departure. Transition will be live VOR, and then we'll be going to Sebi, 
Yela, Misin, and then Quebec 6. So uh, we'll start by typing in Sebi. So we go to the next page. And I think this should so show up, S-E-B-B-Y. Now I need to update my information, my uh, navigation data on my, on my X-Plane. I'm using default. Um, I need to update it so that I can have the newer waypoints. Because right now you're going to notice that the current departure is using Pebble 6. And the one that I have on, on X-Plane is actually, actually going to be the Pebble 3. All right, that one's not in there. And that's a lot of times that's the reason why a lot of uh, waypoints will not show up for you in X-Plane. That's because your navigation data is out of date. That's why whenever you open up X-Plane and you look at the FM F FMC, it tells you that your nav data is out of date. So you need to update it. Um, you need to go to, I think, Navigraph or something like that to get it. All right, there's me scene. We'll be using that top waypoint. And, and that's it for our arrival. We'll activate that. Not arrival. That's that for our route. And then we can actually go to departure and arrival, and we'll add our... Runway, today's me runway 27 for departure, pebble six. Uh, slide is gonna be our transition. Okay, execute, back to route. And then go to departure arrival button again, hit arrival next to Las Vegas. And then um, our arrival should be the KPEC on the next page, there it is, KPEC three via DAG, I believe. Yeah, the DAG, so, and then uh, Runway we're expecting today is possibly going to be ILS for 25 right, which is actually, again, so again, my nav data is out of date. Um, it's actually supposed to be 26 right. Um, it's currently, Las Vegas has changed the numbers on the runways to 26 instead of 25. So we'll hit 25 uh, and we'll do the crow. But we're probably going to end up deleting that from, away, from our flight plan when we get closer. But execute. And now it's telling us unable to, unable required nav performance RNP. Not exactly sure what that means. I am not exactly sure what that means. Can you guys hear me? Okay, sorry. I had my. I was like, why can't I hear myself? And it's because the stream that I'm watching back, because I'm watching the stream back, I had it paused. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, cool. Uh, yes, sir. We're flying single player today. Uh, later. Um, I don't have. Like, when I get my new mic out, it'll be easier, but my PC actually doesn't have a microphone. So I can't actually talk through Discord or um, through online. So if I were to try to go online, I would not be able to talk to controllers. I would only be able to do text, and I don't want to do that. All right, so it's telling us unable to require nav performance something, something. So uh, we'll go back to route. We'll clear that. We'll go to performance in it. Uh, we click on, oh, before we do ground weight, we actually need to go to weight and balance. All right, today's flight, we're expecting it to take us about an hour. Right now, we have two hours of fuel on board, which sounds about good to me. We'll do two hours and a half, two hours and 30 minutes of fuel. Uh, payload weight. I wish it actually tells you, like, how many passengers, or, you know, and stuff like that. So we'll come back just a little bit. I don't, I don't really know. We can't, like, on Infinite Flight, it tells you exactly how many passengers you're loading on board and then how much cargo. Um, X-Plane does not do that. It just kind of uh, puts it all together. Center of gravity, we put that right in the middle. Was that, that was already in the middle, wasn't it? It was. Zero, man. That's fine. Payload weight, something like that. We hit done. And apply those changes. All right, now we're gonna hold a ground weight, so that'll give us our weight. Uh, today's cruise is gonna be 290. Flight level 290. There it goes. Um, plan fuel 21 pounds, I guess. I don't know if I need to type this in or not. We'll just put 21. Invalid. Okay. We'll ignore that then. Reserves, uh, we'll say 2 ton. Cost index, we'll say 55. I don't even know what cost index really means. I just always put a random double digit number. Uh, execute. Our transition altitude will be 18,000. That sounds about right. In one limit, I will not uh, have any limits. I don't even know what to put here, to be honest, so we're gonna leave that alone. Flaps, we'll be starting off with flaps 10. Um, that should be good. I may do 15. Let's do 15. Uh, GIA Aviation KLAS is Las Vegas. And I think the 
rest of this stuff is good. Okay, there we go. Our trim today would be 5.42. Uh, where is that? Oops. I still don't know my quick keys yet. All right, so 5.42. Other way. Right around there. That works for me. Uh, I want to go back to down here. All right. Let's see. What's weird is I don't know why it doesn't give me my V speeds. I don't really understand that. Let's just say 147 V1, 152. I'm making this up. <laughs> VR. And then 158 would be V2. And I was, again, I'm making this up because I don't know what they are. Um, they're supposed to just, they're supposed to like pop up for you, but for whatever reason they're not. Try. All right, so now I gotta do that again. I just messed it up. 142, 147, one, 152, I don't know, whatever, whatever. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and see if we can see if we can, what is my, I have my charts somewhere. So let's go to radios, 134.8. Come on, there she is. Switch over, we should be able to hear Aetis, there it is. Two nine nine two is what I'm looking for. Thank you for that, Austin Roke. He says, cost index is the most effect effective and efficient power according to your cruise altitude. Appreciate that, man. But how do you calculate that, as my question? How do you know? That might be, a, that might be something that SimBrief gives you. All right, looking for 2992. Put that on the left side, and we'll also put that on the right side. It's already set on the right side, so we're good there. Cool. And I think we're done down here. It keeps taking away my... Okay, no, we're good there. All right, we'll go back to the legs. Make sure we don't have any um, discontinuities. And there's one. We're actually going... It says missing twice. So we'll go straight to DAG. So we're going to copy DAG. Click on DAG to copy it. Go back to the previous page. And we will actually click on missing. That's going to replace missing with DAG. Because we're flying to DAG first and then missing. Dutch Works is saying stream seems much better today. Thank you, man. I'm hoping for that. Um, I had, I had some help. Some I had I found somebody who knew what they, who knew what they were doing to help me with my settings. Because the issue was not my computer. The issue was not my uh, internet. The issue was my settings. That was the actual problem. So, what are my PC specs? I'm gonna have to uh, get that for you, uh, in a little while. I think we're good. We've done our perf. We got our N1s, we got our takeoff, FMS is all good, legs are looking good. So that's all set and ready to go. Let's go and get our APU started. Oops, wrong button. Let's get the APU started. Uh, I think we need to hit one of these fuel pumps. And then we'll hold down, hold down the APU for a bit. Thank you, Dutchworks. White noise, man, how you doing, man? Who we got watching right now? Austin, Roke, Even Gray. Chance, White Noise, Starley, what's going on, bro? Yeah, Starley can tell you. I, I sent my PC spec to Starley, so he could definitely tell you what my PC specs are because I don't have them copied for, to, post, to paste them. Uh, I may start putting it in the description, so guys, so when, when you guys ask, you'll know. All right, APU starting up. You see right here that uh, EGT is rising. Um, any second now, we'll be getting a blue light here for the APU generator. 
Yeah, I know it has 16 gigs of RAM, GPU is a GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. Uh, my CPU is an i7 87,000K. Um, it's funny I say that because I really don't know what any of that means. But like I said, when I got when I got my computer built, I uh, I had somebody help me and I told them exactly what I want to use it for, and uh, and they told me what I needed. All right, here we go. APU Gen. Oh yeah, that sounds good. That sounds real good. My stream is lagging a bit. Uh, Hunter Deed, I am not a real pilot. I am not. All right, so now we got our APU gen on. We will go over here. Turn our turn the APU bleed on. Packs on. Uh, the isolation valve on. Switch this to APU gen. All right, now we got air. Nice, I get some AC in here. Uh, all right, so what am I missing, guys? What am I missing? <laughs> what am I missing? All right, so we got FMS is all ready to go. Planes ready to fly. Uh, I mean, we'll, okay, with the cabin utility, IFE pass. Uh, we can turn the lights on up here, right? Is that what this is? Not sure. All right, let's, uh, oh, I know what we need to do. Let's go up here. All right, so today, um, our initial altitude, we're going to start off with 5,000. Let's do that. And then when we get to 5,000, make sure everything is okay with the aircraft and stuff, and then we'll climb up to 18,000 for our transition altitude. Uh, our climbing out speed, actually, before we do that, let's go down here and turn off ADIS. We don't need the ADIS anymore. We have, I think it was an information, information Yankee. All right. And not gonna be flying online today, so we're not gonna be talking to ATC. All right, so we're gonna turn our IES for climb to like 195 or something. 185 will work too. We'll do 195. Don't wanna go any faster than that. And what else? What am I missing, guys? What am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something. All right, RTO. Uh, I think we're good. Like I think I'm just like overthinking it. I think I'm over speak. I think I'm overthinking it. Pr uh, yes, yeah, Starry was correct. Uh, the price of my new PC was just around twenty five hundred. It is definitely not a cheap PC at all. But I did not want to take the cheap way out this time. This is my first ever gaming PC. I've never had a gaming PC before. I'm a, I've graduated from console. For my whole life, I've been playing PlayStation. I've been playing, uh, I have a PS4 I've been playing. Um, I got into Flight Sim on my MacBook Pro, and it could not really handle it. Uh, I think we're good, guys. I really think, I think that is all we need. I think we are ready to push back. I think I am just being paranoid, and I think we are ready to push back. APU is on. Um, logo lights, all lights are on. So how about we go ahead and... and Find our pushback truck. I'm using the better pushback plugin. Very, very helpful. I really love this plugin. Hopefully, it doesn't crash my sim. Come on, baby. There we go. Oh, nice. I think it saved it from last time. Yeah, that's exactly where I want to go. <laughs> that's exactly where I want to go. Ground to cockpit. Client acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you are ready. All right, cool. I do need the pumps, but I don't need the pumps yet because we're not actually turning. The, the, well, we need the pumps for when we turn the turn it on, not for now. So we're gonna go and go ahead and call for pushback. Ground to cockpit. Tow is driving up. All right, cool, cool. There's our tow. You saved. The cool thing about the better, the better pushback plugin is that you can actually go to the uh, tug view. Like this is freaking dope. Looks beautiful though. I gotta say that um, 
the the graphics look great, great with the settings that I've gotten. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Set all right. Break. Ready to connect. I just realized I didn't have my controller with me the entire time. All right. At least parking brakes. Get rid of the chocks. Here comes the... Uh... Wait, why was the, the gate not there? <laughs> You see that? Like, now it's coming. It should have been there a while ago. Apparently my brakes were not on. Um, I actually do not have on max. I have, um, I have it down just a little bit. Um, I can actually show you guys what my settings are really quickly. Uh, here we go. So my visual effects are maxed out. Texture quality is only on high. Um, I mean, it looks good on high. And uh, anti-aliasing is all the way up. Uh, draw, draw shadows. The one thing I noticed, I, I did a lot of testing with X-Plane, and draw shadows on scenery really messes up your your uh, your sim. That's really really hard on frames. I mean, you guys see what how beast of a um, of a you know computer I have, and yet this still really messes with me. Uh, number of world objects is the other thing that uh, will hurt you the most. Is um, the more objects you have, the more reflections that those objects need so therefore these two kind of work together draw parked aircraft can also hurt you a little bit i believe on the right on the left side is a uh, gpu or wait let me see um visual effects i can't remember yeah the left side is gpu and right side is cpu so depending on which one is more powerful for you you'll be able to go higher so my both of mine is not too bad but um but those are my settings all right we're connected. Now the uh, <laughs> that should have been there a while ago, but now the uh, the gate's gonna move out of the way. It's gonna lift us out, and he'll be letting us know when we can. Um, so connected and bypassed and inserted. Really when we can. Way. When we can turn engines on. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. All right, is he pushing yet? I can't really tell. All right, we're pushing. All right, so go back in the cockpit now. We'll go ahead and get everything started up, so we can push back as we. All right, so now I'm gonna go pumps on. I'll leave the center pumps off. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna turn those on, just in case. Last flight, I had an issue and I had an uh, engine fail, so just in case, I'm gonna leave those on. So we go all hydraulics on. I'm gonna turn the packs off. You want the packs off for uh, for engine start. Uh, I'm not sure if I, if I need to turn the isolation valve off or not, but I will turn them off anyways. And what else am I missing here for start? Oh, we also, we do need the anti-collision lights on now that we're moving. And the position lights now that we're about to start the engine. And I believe that is all we need to press. Actually, we're getting, it says low pressure here. This should not say low pressure. That means something else needs to be switched. There we go. All right, so we do need to turn off the isolation valve. I think. All right, so let's give it a try. Uh, try me later. I actually did watch a tutorial. I just, just now is me trying to remember what the tutorial said. All right, oops. All right, so now we're gonna switch to. Uh, I think this can stay on both, but we're gonna switch it to right and hit ground and see if we hear anything. That means it's working. If we don't hear anything, that means it's not working. We'll come down here see if we see anything moving. We don't see anything moving. That means we are missing a step. Yeah, so we're missing something. What are we missing? Fuel pumps are all on. Uh, hydraulics are all on, but they're low pressure. Is it these? Nope. It can't be the APU bleed. Is it the Operation APU bleed? Complete. Set parking brake. I don't know. Because these, you don't want these to say low pressure or it won't start. All right, I think he stopped pushing back now. Yeah, he did. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. What am I missing, guys? I know somebody, somebody's watching this video back like, bruh, you, like, they're probably, like, yelling at me through the screen, like, do this, do this. All right, AP blade back on because that's not changing anything. I'll turn the isolation valve back on. P 
you right, disconnect. Justin says he already took off an infinite flight. Cool, man. Oh, is it trim air? I don't think I don't think it matters. Is it the, the electric fans? It's not the fans. What am I missing? What the heck? Oh, it's disconnected. I'm bypass bin has been removed. Hand signal on the right. Well, I've done this twice this week. I should have this down by now. Fuel pumps are on. Hydraulic. This is why you need checklists, guys. But I'm not using one. I decided not to. I decided not to. Standby. Da, 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 da. Ground power is disconnected. APU is on. I'm not sure what the problem is. Let's try e again. <laughs> Oh, I didn't do anything different, and yet it worked. <laughs> wow. Okay, well. At least I don't think I did anything different. All right, we got uh, in, the N2 for engine number two going up. Once it gets past 20, we'll go ahead and add some fuel. There we go. And we'll come back and look at, uh, what's that, engine number two? Oh, yeah, there we go. Listen to that, listen to that baby hum. Beautiful. This is my favorite part of, uh, of the process is the uh, engine start. I love how it sounds. All right, cool. Now let's go ahead and start the second engine. Now that we've done one, the second one should be easy. And we can also turn the right generator on. And we'll wait for... The second engine is always faster because now it has air, it has more air being powered from, this, uh, from the other engine. The first engine you started. Uh, I did not disengage Master Caution. Let's take a look at that. Oh yeah, I think I did, didn't I? No, I didn't. All right, we're ready. Oh, we gotta hurry up and do it because if not, that engine will uh, overheat. Uh, where is my button? There he is. There we go. Starting engine number two, and we're good now. Man, it took, it took us long enough. Wow. Thank you guys for uh, joining me in this struggle. <laughs> <laughs> figuring out how to start this thing. All right, cool. I think we got two good engines now. Yes, we do. All right, so engines are stabilized. Turn on our flight directors. We'll uh, hit the flaps. We go flaps to 15 for takeoff today. Sorry, I keep forgetting. One, two, three. And that should be 15 right there. Thank you guys for understanding. Again, I got a new PC. I've always played X-Plane. I've been very good like as far as playing X-Plane, knowing what to do, how to system go, all that stuff. But I hadn't played in like maybe six months to a year since Infinite Flight. I've been playing Infinite Flight. I am kind of watching the chat, by the way. Um, and so coming back to X-Plane, I have to kind of like relearn everything. So I feel like I'm a, a new beginner. I'm a, I'm a beginner at everything. So I have to watch a lot of tutorials. I did watch a tutorial on how to start this thing uh, like yesterday. Here goes generate, uh, generator one. Um, but that was yesterday. All right, y'all damper gonna come on. Pro Pete's gonna come on. We're gonna uh, turn off the APU generators. Now we're using the. Now we're using the uh, the main generators. All right, looks good. All right, cool. We'll turn off the APU completely. We'll kill the APU bleed. Put our packs back on. To auto. Um, our cruising altitude today is going to be 29,000 feet, so we're going to set our um, pressurization thing for that. What's going on? Try me later. All 
All right, you're saying that the pressure was low because my engines weren't on. Okay, thank you. Yes, FSX was actually my first flight simulator also, but that was before um, X-Plane. All right, so we're gonna turn our taxi lights on and we are ready to go. Yep, everything else looks good. Uh-huh, everything on the, uh, on the top looks good. Let's check the, uh, right here, this looks good too. Um, I believe our runway heading, so we need to set our heading for the runway heading. So let's take a look what Cool. All right, flaps are good. We're ready to go. Let's get, let's get out of here, guys. We'll uh, release the parking brake. It's true, Starly, you're right. I am making this a lot harder than it actually is. It's really not that difficult. It's just, it's just a lot of steps. That's all it really is. A lot of steps, a lot of things to remember, especially when you're not used to it. You know, I've been flying Infinite Flight for a while where to start the engine, you press one button. And even before then, there was no start button. <laughs> so. Yeah, I think we're gonna hit this truck. Really, man? Really, man? Come on, Texaco. I, I believe 27 should be in that direction. Uh, we shouldn't need any anti-ice. We're in San Diego. Uh, there's no reports of ice in the area either, uh, says Sky Vector. Ishan Santania, how you doing, man? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Hope you guys enjoy this. This is a little bit different than usual, I know. Usually we've been flying Infinite Flight, but as I told you guys in past streams, that I was going to be introducing some new games. Um, originally, I was going to do iRacing today, uh, but I wanted to retry this flight. We tried doing this a couple days ago. It didn't work out. It was very laggy, um, just unenjoyable for everyone, and including me. And I really want to do this flight, so now we're back. Uh, back here in San Diego, we're flying Delta. There it is. Looks good, looks really good. Let's see that sunset right there. Oh yeah. Or sunrise, I should say. That's downtown San Diego behind us. Uh, now this scenery that we're using, sorry, whenever you're like not in the, in the cockpit, it's really hard to, to keep your thing straight. <laughs> but um, what I was gonna say was this scenery is made by Mr. X San Diego. It's a free scenery add-on to X-Plane. So this is not the default scenery for X-Plane. And uh, I also, as, you, as you'll see when we take off, I also installed some ortho photo, kind of like basically what Infinite Flight has, you know, ortho photo, you know, photorealistic scenery all over the place. So basically throughout our route, I have created um, some ortho photo scenery so that we have a nice view to look at on our route today. Uh, Andrew, I am not flying on VATSIM right now. I do have VATSIM. Um, I prefer to fly on VATSIM, but right now we're flying on single player for X-Plane. Flying solo. I don't even know if we have any AI. I haven't seen any AI aircraft either. I may have to go and uh, turn that up. I may add some AI because I like to at least see something, you know what I'm saying, in the sky. I don't like, I don't like when it's just me and only me. I don't know why my uh, <laughs> my fire alarm thing is uh, beeping. And hey, we're taxing about 32 knots, or 32 ground speed. 
There's the uh, GA ramp over there. Now, a lot of you guys who do play Infinite Flight are very familiar with the San Diego airport. Especially if you were uh, a part of X, I mean, a part of Infinite Flight back before Global released. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go to our settings real quick just to make sure we have some AI traffic. I like to have AI traffic. We have four aircraft, we have Boeing 737, the C90, so let's uh, add a few more. I don't know where they are, but they are here somewhere. We'll add MD-82. Um, yeah, we'll add the MD-82, the default one, I guess. We'll add, a, we'll leave the Cyrus in there and we'll add another I also want to test out to see if my system can even handle having all these aircraft flying around around us. I'll have a Southwest flight too. Hit done, and that's gonna reload everything. So that way uh, we'll have an actual an actual chance of seeing some traffic around us. I don't know where they're gonna be, but they will be here somewhere. Uh, let's hope for a better landing. So again, this flight. I tested this flight a few days ago and um, I had an engine failure and then after the engine failure before I landed we also had a um, we also had a gear failure yeah I did not have a great day so we ended up crash landing I'm trying to see if we have any other traffic in San Diego I don't see anybody Yeah, that fire alarm thing, I don't know why it's beeping. I, I just changed the battery. So we may have to deal with it for a bit. I apologize for that. Anyway, let's get started. We've been on the ground long enough. Let's get in the air. All right, let's go ahead. We'll turn on all of the land lights. Uh, Anti-collision lights are on. We'll turn packs off for takeoff. Seatbelt signs are on. Yaw damper is on. Probe heat is on. Window heat is on. Uh, don't need any anti ice. Uh, flap set to RTO. Glare shield looking good. We climb up to 5,000 feet. 195 knots. Uh, do we need auto throttle? Out? Maybe we can try to We'll try to go out of here. Uh, it doesn't want to turn on though. <laughs> we might just have to do it ourselves. Alright, let's go, let's roll. What does that say? I don't know. Let's go, guys. Yes, you learn something new every day. This is all a learning experience. Now, uh, for a, f a few of you, a few of you guys who were able to see that failure of a stream the other day, um, let's just hope <laughs> that this takeoff goes better than that other one did. We do have Toga. I'm going to try it. I don't know if it's going to work. Don't know if it's gonna work. We're gonna try Toga though. I uh, don't think it's gonna work. Usually we'll just hit N1 right here. And my auto throttle won't come on. So I'm not sure why it's not working. So, oh well, we'll do it ourselves. Alright, so from my experience, which has been like one time, we're gonna need a lot of thrust to get out of here. <laughs> Alright, let's keep her center as best as possible here. Eighty knots. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. V1 and rotate. Come on, come on, come on. Up, 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 up. 
positive rate, gear up. This thing is trying. Alright, passing 400 feet. I feel like I am, I feel like this thing is heavier than it should be. Alright, we're gonna bank to the right as 1,000. Trying to get a 15 degree angle here, if possible. Still flying it by hand. Put the nose, we're losing a lot of speed. Put the nose down a bit. Alright, 3,000. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit the autopilot now. Go to LNAV and level change. Alright, now our throttle is working. Back to 195. Get rid of some of these flaps. It sound, the takeoff sound was amazing. That thing, you could hear the like the weightlessness happening. It was really cool. All right, we're almost up to 5,000. Say goodbye to San Diego. Cisco is saying switch engines to start start switches to flight mode. That may be the reason I have less power. That could be it. That could definitely be it. What do I have it on now? I have it on auto. So wouldn't shouldn't it do it itself? I put a packs back on. Taxi lights off. The good thing, the positive note today is that we won't have anybody taxiing into us today. <laughs> That's a good thing. Uh, who's that? Salty Tiger. Yes, sir. I did get a new PC. And that's why we were flying X-Plane today. To see how well it does. Alright, we're at 5,000 leveling off. We can get rid of these flaps. And we'll continue up to 18. Actually, let's get some speed first. Get some speed and then we'll go to five, uh, we'll go to 18,000. Can you, can you guys hear the aircraft sounds okay? What plugins do I have? Electro swag. I have. See you later, uh, Hunter Dia Deep. Thank you, man, for watching. Glad you enjoyed it. Uh, plugins that I have are. I only have a few. Um, I'm using SkyMax Pro. I, eventually, I want to get uh, what's it called? Um, what's that new one? The other weather one. I complete. I forget what it's called. The really good one everybody uses. Um, but I have SkyMax Pro for uh, for the weather and clouds and stuff. And then I have X Camera. That's what I use. Um, uh, it has a little bit more custom customizabil custom customizability with your. Um, with all your different views. Now, with the default X-Plane, you don't need an extra camera plug-in or anything like that. 
to um, to create you know quick cameras and stuff like that but X camera uh, does a little bit more so that's why I have that um, these are things that I've gotten a long time ago I didn't just I didn't just get these now I also have uh, X squad box which is you know for uh, planes and that's actually the reason why we're not seeing any traffic because I need to um, disable squad box I forgot about that if you have squad box enabled even if you're not connected um, other aircraft will not show up in your flight and I mean AI aircraft I also have the sim coders head shake so that means uh, when we land you'll see a little head shake here and when we're taxing you also see some head shake and then I have the better pushback which is a free one so uh, head shake is free uh, pushback is free squad box is free X camera is free also there is a is a paid version of it but I have uh, I actually have the paid version I started out with a free version I liked it so much that I was like you know what? I'm gonna buy this there's only a few um, things that you can't do with the uh, free version but uh, also uh, I have Sky Max, which was uh, also a paid download, and there's also another plugin that comes with Sky Max that's called a uh, Real Weather Connector. It's supposed to connect the real world we weather with uh, with the sim. So, so right now uh, we're flying the what is it called? Let's see. All right. I just noticed that when I'm on that other screen, my audio is not coming through. That's not okay. Oh, I know why. I know exactly why. Let's try that again. All right, check, check. Okay, cool. Now you can hear me on this screen too. Cool. See, like I said, uh, if we look down here, we're flying to Meldy, and we need to be at fourteen thousand before we're way, be way below the. Uh, Actually, we're flying to Weldy. I take that back. I think we've already passed. No, no, that's not Weldy. That's Meldy. Okay, I thought that was a W. So, um, um no, I don't want to. I don't want to post the rules on the video again. Um, moderators, if you're having issues with people saying stupid stuff, um, go to the Discord channel and copy those rules and just paste that into the uh, YouTube chat for me. So to remind, remind everybody what the rules are in my live streams. Um, if you're new, welcome. If you're not, then welcome back. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal family. Glad to have you. Hope you enjoy the flight. It's expected to be a pretty smooth one. Not expecting too much turbulence or anything like that. All right, we'll lock the gear here. There we go. I may have to step away here at some point in the flight to get rid of that beeping sound. Because I hate that. All right, once we get above 10K, we'll kill the land lights. But for now, we're blasting out of here. The uh, California coast on our right wing. DFOX36, what's up, bro? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take the battery out. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to change the battery. I'm just going to freaking rip it out of the wall. <laughs> What's funny is it didn't even start until the stream had started. It has not. It didn't do it last night. It didn't do it this morning before I started the stream. It decided to start when we started the stream. What's that screeching noise, the fox? That screeching noise is my stupid uh, uh, smoke detector. Thought I had a bird. No, I don't have a bird. 
Do not have a bird. It does. It, I, I could understand it. It does kind of sound like a bird. Um, but let, let's get to a, a, an altitude where I'm, I'm comfortable with walking away from the aircraft before I step away from the cockpit and fix that because I don't want us to crash. Uh, let's see if we can turn on VNAV. Let's see if VNAV will work. Yeah, it is. Uh, when I did my test flight, VNAV did not work. But now VNAV is working. And if you don't know what VNAV is, VNAV, VNAV is vertical navigation. All right, Justin, you're about to land. Where are you, where are you guys flying to today? And again, guys, no spamming in the chat. My moderators will ban you, no matter how many accounts you make. Um, don't bring that drama to my channel. We don't put up with that. My moderators are trained to ban people who try to create more accounts and spam chat, stuff like that. Uh, we are all here for the same reason. There's no reason to argue and all that super stuff. No reason to spam. If you got timed out, then you got timed out. Do your time and continue. Get over it. I'm excited about getting over the uh, back over this land. Thank you, Anthony, for posting the uh, the rules down there. Appreciate that, man. So again, no spamming in the chat. I th I believe that right there is a uh, Catalina Island. Um, I'm planning on heading there. For a VFR flight, I mean, that island is beautiful. I have some really cool free scenery for that airport over there, too. So. All right, I'm going to turn uh, our altitude up to our cruising altitude. We're uh, basically on VNAV now. So I'm going to go all the way up to 29,000. So basically, the aircraft should fly itself all the way up to 29,000 and level off. So um, I, I'm pretty confident right now that I think the aircraft is looking good. We're above 10,000, let's go ahead and shut off the land lights. Like so. Turn off the wing wheel. I'll leave on anti-collision and position strobes. Uh, see both signs are on. Actually, I'll turn them off because I gotta get up too. And APU bleed is off. Packs are on. Yaw damper's on. Everything up here looks good. We don't have any, uh, there's no warning showing up. So, uh, stand by and I'll be right back. What view do I want to leave you guys in? You guys want an outside view or you want an interior view? I'm only, I'm not going to be gone for long. It's just going to be like a minute, but still. All right, that's all I got right now. Oh, nice. Okay, so Justin, uh, you and Sean are doing a flight on infinite flight. The exact same flight I'm doing, except you took off like an hour earlier, probably, because it took me forever to start the engine. All right, you guys want a window view? Sounds good to me. Let's do a... Um... I'm trying to decide which window. Let's do a left wing. I'm oh, sorry, let's do a right wing view. I'm going to do it right behind the wing. I may change it, so I'm still going to be around. I'm just gonna mute myself. So this way you can actually see the land coming up. You should see, uh, I believe we'll be flying near LAX. So, all right guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna turn some music on just for a bit and mute myself. I uh, won't be gone for long, so don't worry. No worries.
Alright guys, I am back. And I think I fixed it. <laughs> I think I fixed it. Alright, so let's go turn this music down a bit. Hopefully you guys can still hear me and everything. Thank you for standing by, thank you for your patience guys. Uh, it's funny because, you know, on aircraft, they always tell you in the safety recording that you were not supposed to mess with the safety, I mean the smoke detectors, but uh, today the smoke detector was giving us a lot of problems and it was very annoying so we got rid of it. So, I guess I means I have to turn the smoking sign off. <laughs> uh, yes, you can crash in this game. Like, you can actually crash. And if in a flight, you can't really crash. But on this game, you can actually crash. Or this simulator, I should say. Alright. Alright, so where are we? Yeah, the seat the seatbelt signs are actually off. We're not we don't have any turbulence or anything, so I have the seatbelt signs off. Alright, we're still are we still climbing? Yeah, we're still climbing. Two thousand feet to go. And we're headed to Sabi, CB, which is our first waypoint in our flight plan. So we are done with our departure. And we're almost to our top of climb. Brian Attack 01230. How you doing man? I'm doing good man. I'm doing really good. Heart student, you need some subtitles. Well, if you would like to volunteer to make those, I'm not going to stop you. Not sure why you need subtitles. Um, I'm doing good, though. I hope you guys are also doing good. Say goodbye to Los Angeles. Um, I've flown in Los Angeles in real life a few times, and the view is just amazing when you fly into LA. I'm glad you're doing great, Brian. You can see our contrail back here. Pretty smooth flight. It should be pretty easy. It's a really short flight today, about an hour. I don't know what, okay, now that we're cruising out to, now we can see our ETE and ETA, okay. I was wondering why I couldn't see it. So our ETE is looking like about 30, uh, two minutes or so. Should be landing at 1600 Zulu, 1606. Colorado Nugget says, tomorrow going on a real flight from Gold Coast, Sydney in A320. Uh, yeah, I've probably not been on as many A320s as you, that is for sure. I rarely fly, um, or ride, I should say, or travel by A320. Most of the flights that I have flown on have always been 737s, 757s, 767s, um, 777s, and seven, basically Boeing. <laughs> Yeah, the Contros in, in X-Plane are not great. Now, I don't know if it's because of... I don't know if it's because of... Uh, of uh, what they call it? <laughs> uh, what's the name of the thing I use? Skymax. I don't know if it's Skymax is the reason for that. I believe that right there should be Ontario. Flying over Ontario. Uh, how much is X-Plane? X-Plane is about like 60 bucks or something like that. It's basically cost the same as a, as a, um, as a full game, like a full console game. Yeah, I believe I can, I 100%, I 100 believe that flying is the best way to travel. I prefer it. Yep, that's Ontario down there. I 
All right, thank you, Andrew. Yeah, that's just how the contrasts look. They've never looked great. When I used to play X-Plane like a year ago, uh, I mean, I used to play X-Plane every day, just like I play Infinite Flight now. Um, I didn't stream it, but I just, you know, I was playing it. But I used to play X-Plane every day, and the contrails have never looked that great. I don't know, they, they just can't get the contrails right. Santiago Zapata, good morning. Hello, how are you? Uh, Sean Sun, do I prefer flying X-Plane or, X or Infinite Flight? That is a great question. Um, I don't feel that they compete with each other. Infinite Flight is mobile, X-Plane is PC. If I want to do Flight Sim on my mobile, I will always use Infinite Flight. If I'm going to use um, Flight Sim on my PC, I'm going to use X-Plane. Now, I hope that someday Infinite Flight moves into doing a PC game, and then in that case, it actually will compete with each other. So, but right, as of right now, um, I can't really compare the two. It's not really fair. I mean, X-Plane is a full-on flight simulator. It, I mean, every single button works. Everything is modeled. I mean, you just can't compete. Um, the graphics look great. It has clouds. I mean, X-Plane PC, if you were to compare it with Infinite Flight, it would kill it. So it's not even fair. Now, if you're going to compare a game to Infinite Flight, you can uh, compare Infinite Flight to X-Plane 10 Mobile. Now, that's a more fair uh, comparison. Our right, top of descent is actually really soon. Very short flight, short hop. Uh, no, Ontario. Oh, wait, did I say Ontario? Hold on, I'm trying to think. What was the name of that airport we just flew over? Let me look at Sky Vector. Because <laughs> it might not be Ontario. I could be tripping. I might have said the wrong thing. Okay, you're right, Ontario is in Canada. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, it is Ontario. There is Ontario, California too. It's a Kilo Oscar November Tango. So there is Nas Nas B O three, hello. Yoshi Coder on Twitch. What's going on man? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're enjoying the flight. We'll be on our top of the scene pretty soon here. Seatbelt signs are off, so you guys are free to move about the cabin as you need it. Uh, Colorado Nuggets, trust me, if you get X Plane and Vetsim, you will not be wasting your money. Now the only way you would waste your money is if um, it didn't actually work. Now the good thing about X Plane is that if you have a PC um, Windows or Mac, you can download X-Plane for free, the, um, the trial version. Now, the trial version is free forever. The difference is you can only fly in a certain region. That is the only difference um, between that and the full version. So, um, I would definitely recommend, if you were thinking about getting X-Plane, uh, go ahead and get it. Go ahead and download it. Um, download whatever region. Uh, actually, I think the test region is like Seattle. There's Innsbruck and a few other places like that. So, go ahead and get it. Download it. It's free. Give it a try. If it works on your computer, then that's great. Um, you can also get an idea of, um, of whether you like the game in general. Um, now remember, you don't have to start every, every flight cold and dark like I did today. You don't have to start um, with the engines off, everything basically off, and do all, go through all the systems and stuff like that. You don't have to do that. Uh, there's also a button up here. You can go to prep electrical electro systems for boarding and then also start engines for running. So there's a quick key to basically bypass all that. Um, there's also a setting in your settings that will allow you to start every flight with your engines already on if you're just not in if you're not into that level of flight sim realism so it's up to you which aircraft flies to ontario international good yes a good question uh, best way to find out is to check flightaware.com Flightaware.com, that'll tell you what aircrafts were flying in and out that day. Alexis, Alexis, how you doing? Good to see you. Yeah. All right. I just want to pay attention to our 
to our flight down here. I'm not sure how far we are away. Alright, so Dag is next. We're about 35 miles from Dag. Our top of descent is right before Dag. So let's start thinking about that. It's a short flight, so we gotta already start thinking about um, when to descend. So let's go ahead and pull up our chart for the KPIC 3 arrival. Yep. All right, so what is this? All right, here we go. It's sideways again. I don't know how to I don't know how to turn it. Uh, we're not gonna see Dag on there, but we do have Mesine, which is also on our. It's on our flight plan, so we need to be at flight level two four zero when we get to Mesine. It's only about five thousand feet down, and after that we have Klar. Now I'm not sure if VNAV is gonna take us back down or not. I'm not a hundred percent sure if the VNAV will actually do that for us, or if I will have to um, manually go down. So. Uh, but real quick briefing for our arrival it will be Mising, flight level 240, uh, and then 49 miles. From there, we'll be passing Klar at 13,000 at 250 knots. And then we'll be going to Skeb, Skeber, and then left turn to KPEC at 13,000. So we'll be holding 13,000 through this whole entire part. And at KPEC, we can start descending down to 11,000 when we get to uh, Ipumi at 230 knots. And then from there, we'll be descending. We'll basically be right on a left downwind from runway 26 right um, at Las Vegas when we get to Ipumi. Down to 9,000 at Nipso, 8,000 at Sunset, uh, we fly over Boulder City and then to Chips at 8,000 at 170 knots, making a left turn, the left base to Poker and then for our final arrival, a final approach down into runway 26 right. Uh, looks pretty pretty easy, doesn't look too hard so I just hope we don't have any engine failures or any any problems like that, like I did earlier. Let's hope for the best. Grammar Porter, how you doing, man? Welcome back. D Fox, what about Tenerife to Madrid for the next flight? Not a horrible idea. I have not flown to Tenerife on X Plane, so I may have to give that a try. Most of the um, scenery that I have on X Plane is uh, in the US because that's where I used to fly before Infinite Flight. Now that Infinite Flight has come out, um, it's kind of branched me out to fly farther places. All right, so we're getting pretty close. We are in. 20 miles away from Dag. Top of descent is right before that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn our altitude down to our next restriction. Sorry guys, let's uh, do this. All right, here we go. Little legs. All right, 24,000. I'm gonna go down to 13. So we're gonna set our altitude to 13,000. Uh, VNAV should, like I said, should uh, descend us once we get to that third, uh, once we get to um, the next, when we get to the top of the scene, it should. Colorado Nuggets, I am the same way. Whenever I do my flight plans, it literally, it literally takes me like an hour just to do the flight plan. This is before I even get into the plane. <laughs> so yeah, I feel you, I understand. That's why whenever I have to cancel a flight, I get very upset because I'm like, I planned so much for this flight. Yeah, the details in the mountains are great. We're gonna go ahead and do this inside stuff so we can get another look outside. Um, I think we're good though. Yeah, that's set there. That's good, all right. There we go, hello. Let's go to the uh, complete outside view. Looks good, guys. It looks really good. Look at that detail, man. That's amazing. Now, this is all. If you if you guys know what Ortho 4 XP is, and when you're trying to create Ortho scenery, this is all 16. This is a uh, zoom level 16. All of this is zoom level 16. And we're looking at it from 29,000 feet. If we were at like 2,000 feet, it would look a lot lower resolution. Kind of like with Infinite Flight, the higher you are, the better it looks. Same here. The difference is my base scenery is higher resolution than Infinite Flight scenery. So um, I believe that, I don't know what level that Infinite Flight uses. I assume like uh, 16 or 15, I don't know. But all this is 16. Uh, Sean, what am I planning on um, being a pilot when I get the money. <laughs> that's basically, that's all it takes for me. Once I get the money to invest into flight school, I'm gonna go for it. And once I do that, I won't let anything stop me. 
Man, this is beautiful. So I'm really curious to see if the aircraft is gonna, um, if it's gonna descend on its own. If not, uh, we'll have to hit the vertical speed on it. Looks like it is. I think I might have just saw the nose go down a bit. Brian Attack, you finally got Infinite Flight Pro. I'm glad you did. We'll be back on Infinite Flight tomorrow. Planning on flying, um, uh, uh, probably, we may be flying back in the States again because uh, IFATC, I believe, is doing uh, FedEx UPS routes or airports. So we may be flying in the U.S. again. But I'm glad you were able to finally get it. IFMG, I'm doing good, man. How are you doing? Uh, when I, I'll be a, probably a private pilot. I'm not really looking to be an airliner pilot, um, only for personal reasons. Um, nothing against airline pilots. I just um, air, the airline pilot life is a very stressful one as far as being gone. Like if you're single, <laughs> it may be better to be an airline pilot. But I'm married and stuff, and so I don't want to be away from my, my wife that much. I already have to uh, to leave pretty often. Robert, Jose, how you doing, man? MC Apples, I'm 27. Andy Channel, how you doing, man? All right, it looks like the aircraft is descending and it's saying that we need some drags. So we're gonna put in, put out our um, flight spoilers. Oh, oh, not, not, not that, not that. Wrong button. There we go. Uh, yeah, hopefully next time I do multiplayer, like I said, I have a. All right. Next time I'll, um, I'm hopefully getting my new headset and mic tomorrow, so I'll be able to actually talk. Cause right now. I, if I were to fly online and there was ATC, I would not be able to talk to them. It's not like Infinite Flight where you just type a few buttons. I mean, you can use text chat to talk to ATC, but I would rather um, use voice. Yeah, Fuzzy, it's the thing. I mean, like, I, I want to fly, but I also love my wife, you know? And um, in the past, I've already done a lot of flying, um, not for, like, training, but just in my own travels. Um, that has me separated from her, like flying away from her, leaving her at home for me to travel and do business and stuff. And it really takes a, a toll on your relationship. So um, it's best if either you're single or maybe you're early in your relationship and you're you know already becoming a pilot. Um, so that way you're already like your wife already understands that that is part of your lifestyle. But if that's not already part of your lifestyle, then you may want to try something different. So um, being a private pilot, I know it still will um, require me to be away but not maybe as much and also I may be able to like do flights where I fly away from home all day and then at the end of the day I'm able to fly back home you see what I'm saying so that's my idea as far as becoming a flight pilot and that's my personal thing because again so that's the reason because um, I want to fly period uh, whether that's going to be a private pilot maybe a um, a corporate airline something like that maybe but um, I want to be a private pilot Nice, Ashley Tripp, your trainings for airline pilot and you're flying a C-182, sounds good. Fuzzy, cool, so you're thinking to become a pilot but not an airline pilot, cool, yeah. I wanna fly, period. Pox Games, how you doing? Joshua said that's why I don't have a girlfriend yet. <laughs> I feel you, bro, I feel you. Uh, can you guys let me know if that music is too loud for you? That would be very helpful. All right, so uh, Clara, we're 44 miles from Clara. We're gonna need to be as much in the 50 knots. But again, VNAV should do all this for us. So we're testing out VNAV right now. So at the moment, VNAV is controlling the aircraft. It's descending us down to 13,000 feet. It told us that we needed some drag, so I added drag. Uh, the spoilers are out. Um, also, uh, it's gonna be tr controlling our speed. So as we get closer to 13,000 feet. We sh it should slow us down to about 250 knots. We're going to keep an eye on it because you don't want to completely trust in the VNAV system. Sometimes it fails. So if we're going too fast, we'll slow down. But as of right now, everything is working out really good, surprisingly. So excited about that. Uh, so let's get some more beautiful window view shots. Andrew Cunningham, you said you want to be an airline pilot? Your dream is to make it to Emirates or Etihad. Go for it, man. It's yours. My next infinite flight stream will be tomorrow. Ben's insanity. Yeah. I just know that there's a part of me that needs to be in the sky. So, yeah. Brian Attack, you think about being ATC? Well, we definitely need ATC controllers. There's a lot of people who want to be pilots. But I don't think you understand how bad we need ATC controllers also. So, 
I definitely. I mean, if you'll be ATC, go for it. Um, I know that for me personally, I, I kind of, I, I, it, it's interesting the whole ATC thing, but it's not really like something that I really want to pursue um, for a job. Fuzzy, you want to fly for Delta or American? That's dope, man. Uh, Sean, some, hey, you're, I mean, you're completely cool, man. These streams are all about getting to know me, getting to know you. Ask any question you want, man. Basically, a uh, uh, question and answer here. Um, but my current job is I'm a graphic designer and a web designer. So all the graphics you see on my stream are created by me. And uh, I work from home. And as soon as I finish my streams, I go to work. And I work until like pretty late, especially this week because I've been pretty busy. So I do my streams. I try to do my streams every day, about 1400 Zulu. Um, sometimes I start a little bit late, but I do my best to start on time. But yeah. Oh, do you thought you want to be more of an engineer than a pilot? So you want to kind of like work on aircraft, like you want to build them, do maintenance. That's cool. That's really cool. How much does it cost to train as a pilot? It depends on where you live and what region. So um, there is no generic uh, amount that it would cost you to be a pilot in the United States because it depends where in the United States you live. Um, so like, for example, I live in Texas. Um, and things are a bit cheaper here. Gas is cheaper here. Um, the cost of living is cheaper here. So it'd be cheaper to... Oh man, look at these desert mountains out here. I'm sorry, I got distracted. Um, so it'd be cheaper to be it here, but it's still expensive. I don't know the exact price. Um, I don't have the number. Um, I kind of forget. <laughs> but um, it depends. You kind of have to look it up. You have to Google it. Um, once I start doing my training, I'll let you guys know how much it's costing me. Uh, Ashley Tripp says that you want to fly the most 737, 8320, and CRJ. Yeah, I actually um, uh, expect to see some CRJs as I do X-Plane streams later on because I do own the CRJ. I love the CRJ and X-Plane. It's a great quality aircraft. Uh, speaking of CRJs, for you infinite flight pilots out there, um, uh, Laura tweeted that the next project is a CRJ 700. Or I don't know if it's a 700, but it's a CRJ. Um, Infinite Flight currently has a CRJ, it's just a very low quality CRJ, so I'm really excited. I know that some, pe 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 some people are not very excited about the CRJ because it's just not their aircraft, um, but that CRJ is an aircraft that I've always liked, so I am actually excited about the CRJ coming out. You know, I just noticed we had the logo lights on the entire time, we should have shut those off. It's okay. Not gonna hurt anything. Game Fox Crack, how you doing, man? Welcome, welcome. 2 a.m. in the Gold Coast. <laughs> we do actually have a little bit of turbulence. You can see the nose bouncing around a little bit. Electro Swag, you want to be ATC. The Fox want to be military school. A pilot in your country, which I don't know what that is, is 12,000 euro. 45 hours with training and more. Well, yeah, you have to be careful when you go to flight school that they do not milk your money. You got to be careful. You got to find one that you trust, uh, look at reviews, stuff like that. Um, because they, uh, there are people out there. There's, I mean, there are bad people out there. We have to remember that. As much as we want to trust the aviation the profession and stuff there are still bad people out there and uh, people will still try to rip you off um, but yeah we are getting some turbulence so we're gonna go ahead and turn the seatbelt signs on there we go I love the sounds on this plane how like you turn the seatbelt sign on and you can hear the flight attendants talking I don't know if you guys could hear that or not. If you listen very closely, you'll be able to hear uh, just background noise chatter of the um, of uh, the uh, the passengers and stuff. Wow! Apparently, in Germany, you don't have to fly. I mean, you don't have to pay to fly for flight school. That's cool. Uh, where was the tweet of the CRJ project? I'm not sure. I think I believe Laura posted it. I saw it on Instagram though. Somebody else took a screenshot and posted it to Instagram. That's how I know about it. I saw it yesterday. 
So I'm not sure how long that's going to take. I don't know if um, they're only going to be releasing the new CRJ or if they're going to come out with some other bug fixes and some other stuff. Look at that wing flex. Alpha AF, how you doing, man? Pilot training in Poland is pretty cheap. That's good. That's good to know. Oh, nice. Be flying southwest of Texas on the 20th. That sounds good. Enjoy it. I, I assume you're flying into Hobby International Airport and not uh, uh, Bush Intercontinental. Uh, okay, so this is a good question. Uh, Anik Kite uh, was asking, um, oh, listen to those engines. Hold on, hold on. Let me, before I answer that. All right, so it's slowing down. Cool. Nice, nice. All right, sorry about that. I just, I just had to enjoy that for a second. Uh, all right, so your question was, uh, with how much does X plane cost for you with everything you've got right now? Uh, a lot. <laughs> uh, now let's talk about only what we're using at the moment. So right now, right now I'm flying with the Boeing seven three seven Zebo mod free. All right, the sound pack free. Everything about this plane is free. Okay, it's crazy because the quality of the aircraft is just almost unmatching. It's amazing, uh, and it's free. If you see that, oh, look out in the distance. I don't know if you guys can see that, but right over the fuselage, you see those two little gray marks in the sky. Those are not clouds. Those are contrails of two other aircraft at the cruising altitude flying. So that's working. Uh, anyway, so uh, the plane is free. The scenery around me, this is all free. Uh, it's a free plugin. Um, Ortho 4 XP is a, a program you can install onto your Windows. Or it only actually it only works on Windows, I believe. Actually, I think it works on Mac. It does work on Mac, um, Mac or PC, um, and it's also free. Um, so all the scenery you see around me is free. The airport we flew from, San Diego, free scenery. The airport we're flying into, Las Vegas, also free scenery. So um, basically everything you see here is free. The only thing that I am using that is paid is SkyMax Pro, which is the um, weather. Uh, it's handling my clouds and weather. Um, the, cloud, the weather system in X-Plane is not too bad. So you don't need a SkyMax Pro. This is something I bought. Um, I bought this back when X-Plane 10 was out, and it actually did need it. So I had it from back then, and I just upgraded to X-Plane 11 when they had an X-Plane 11 version. Now, X-Camera is free, all right? This is also free, um, but there is a paid version. I'm using the paid version. The only difference is that you're able to save your camera views. That's the only difference. Uh, well, when I mean save camera views, you're able to save camera views from session to session. Like, you turn off the game, come back, and you still have your camera views. Um, now, Squawk Box, it's all, it, it adds multiplayer to X-Plane, that's also free. Uh, this plugin right here, this is what I use for what you see on the bottom of your screen, where it shows the ETE to ETA, um, that is also free. Better Pushback, also free. Head Check, also free. So only thing where you were paid, only plugin I'm using currently that's paid is SkyMax Pro and the uh, X Camera, which you don't need either of these. Uh, Gizmo is just part of SkyMax Pro. Um, and X-Plane itself costs about $60, unless you get it on sale. Yes, it is way more expensive to get a pilot license than a, a driving license. If you are too young to drive yet and you don't know that, a uh, driver's license is pretty cheap. I think we don't need the drive. I don't think we need the, uh, the spoilers anymore. No, we don't. We'll kill them. There we go. Infinite Flight LMA, how you doing, man? James Couture, how you doing? Welcome. Uh, Dom Josh, is X-Plane easy to learn? Yes. There is a lot of material out there. There's tons of tutorials to watch, so it is very easy to learn. Yeah, the CRJ is a great aircraft, and uh, Infinite Flight really needs to make it better on their game. Nice. 
Sino Trex, you're doing homework and watching the stream. Thank you, man, for joining us. All right, I am very, I'm way behind on, on the chat right now. Nice. Alexis, you can get x for 20 euro. Yeah, you need to check on what, how much it costs in your own currency. Yeah, the cockpit in the CRJ is just like, I flew it once and I haven't flown it again because it's just so horrible of quality. And they only have one livery for it, which really kills it too. There's so many great liveries, like the Delta livery, the newer United livery, uh, American Airline livery. There's so many good liveries for that aircraft. And uh, it's Infinite Flight just murders that plane. All right, we're really close. It says our ETE is like six minutes, so we should be seeing Las Vegas. Uh, I believe Las Vegas is on the other side of these mountains. If I am correct. Actually, I take that back. It's on um, that direction. So far, um, so far that VNAV is doing a great job. Uh, let's go ahead and get prepared for our approach again. We're expecting to land on two six uh, right. Um, and guys, please hold your questions for a bit. But I'm not gonna be looking to chat while I'm trying to figure this out. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can tune into the. Uh, let's tune into. Hold on, let me freeze track R. Let's um, tune into the ATIS frequency for Las Vegas to get the weather. I think I have the weather up. I guess I don't. All right, there it is. All right, so the ADIS frequency here is 132.4. So we'll put that in down here. What did I say, 132.4? And there it is, and we'll go over. All right, tunnel all two hundred three zero one seven. We have information India. We'll put that on the right side also. There we go, man. These engine sounds just sound so good. All right, altimeter set. We have information in India. Let's go ahead and uh, we can tune out now. Matter of fact, we can actually tune in to, and to, uh, where is it? Uh, we can tune into the tower if we like. Las Vegas tower. We should be seeing uh, Las Vegas here on our left wing in a second. I'm trying to find it. Hold on. Uh, clearance delivery. Tower. The tower has a lot of frequencies. Ground. We'll just use the uh, the auto way. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna cheat. We'll tune into tower, and we're gonna start hearing um, the other aircraft flying around us. Bravo, seven, three, eight, Kilo, Lima, Alpha, Sierra, Altimeter, three, zero, one, seven. All right, so Altimeter, three, zero, one, seven, so it's correct. And we're approaching Las Vegas here. We're going to be on a left downwind, basically, here. Oh, snap, we need to change our altitude. Crap. Let's change it to 8,000. Because VNAV will not pick it up. Oops, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, 9,000, we need to be at 9,000. I know there are, a final approach would be about 8,000. Uh, six miles, I don't know if the aircraft is gonna descend.
Let's see if it's gonna. I'm turning low. I'm turning Evinev off. Okay, here we go. I missed our. Yeah, I missed it. George, how you doing, man? Good to see. You. All right, cool. If we look out the window, we should see the Vegas Strip right there. Hopefully you guys can see that on the stream. What's going on, Aviator Illin? Good to see you, bro. I'm gonna add some, uh, cause we're a bit high, we need to be at 9,000. So on our left downwind for runway two, six or right. Yeah, scenery does look great. Let's take a look in the cockpit, make sure everything is changing. We are at 10,000 feet and descending. Let's, I'm gonna get, try to see if we can get VNAT to work again. I think we need to be at 210 knots too. Oops. I'm down too much. I'm gonna try to get the VNAP to work again and see if it'll if it'll do what we need to do. Alright, headed to sunset in about two miles, we need to be at eight thousand feet. Yes, I'll be able to see my landing after we land. Hopefully, this goes great. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for that new subscription, Adore Me. I don't know why that didn't pop up on the screen. It should pop up whenever you give a subscription. All right, we're at 8,000. We can get rid of the flight spoilers now. And let's get ready to land. So one thing that I have not set, and I should have set that a while ago, and that is our ILS frequency. So let's find out what that is for a 2-6 right. That is going to be 110.3. That's going to go right here. Actually, I already have it in. 110.3. Cool. So that's set. And then we need to put on our heading, I mean our uh, course, oops, wrong one. Course is 259, that's already set too. Now I do mention I did try this flight once before, so I guess these things were already set for me. So our course is set, all that's set. Um, we, if we look here on our, um, on our display, we have our uh, glide slope icon here on the right side, and we have our localizer down here. So this, glide, this localizer, once we get turned in the right direction, it will turn solid and it'll get close and closer to this middle line and it will be locked on the localizer. So we're going to attempt to use the localizer today and hope that that works out. So right now we're still on VNAV and it seems to be working. Let's go ahead and turn on our landing lights and get prepared to land in Las Vegas. Seatbelt signs are on. Let the flight attendants know we're ready to, about, about to land here. I don't remember which these what these do, but I'm gonna leave it on anyways. Uh, anything else we are missing? No, I think we're good up here with all that stuff. And uh, we do need to set. Um, I'll set this our auto brakes to max, just because I'm not. I don't really trust my ability to land an X plane yet. It's been so long, and I have not had so much um, luck lately in X plane, so. So far, it's been so good. So we're going to go ahead and set it to max. We'll go ahead and start adding in flaps. 
I believe right now we're going 230 knots. So we should be able to go, actually we should be at 210 knots. So we're going a bit fast. But um, at 210, we can go all the way down to flaps 15. Actually no, flaps, flaps 10. Oh, look at that water. Whoa. What the heck? That's cool. Haha, <laughs> Infinite Gaming, prepare to crash. Thank you for your... Thank you for your faith in me. If you don't trust me, don't don't get on board. <laughs> that water looks a bit high, doesn't it? All right, we need to make one adjustment to our flight plan here. As you can see right here, we have this waypoint way out here. We actually don't even want to go to. That's Crow. We're gonna delete that. I'm gonna go direct to flies, I think. Let's try that. Yep, that works. Cool. Let's zoom in here. There we go. Hey, altimeter is set. Seatbelt signs are on. Localizer, ILS is all plugged in. Or not, I shouldn't say plugged in, but uh, tuned in. We're also tuned in the tower, not that it really matters. Uh, I believe the flight spoilers should be... Yep, they're up. I'm gonna go down some more flaps. That's a uh, flaps five. You can see where my scenery stops and where it ends. I didn't create the other scenery on the right side of the plane. All right, we're slowing all the way down to 180 knots. I believe that should be correct. Yeah, but going down to 170, we'll probably land at around 150, 160. We'll probably go for like 160. Uh, we're pretty heavy for some reason today. So we're gonna have to land a little bit faster. All right, we're good up here. Uh, oh, what's the uh, elevation of Las Vegas? Elevation is... What is the elevation? 2,000 feet or something like that. So that way your ears don't pop too bad. All right, we're making a left turn, a left uh, left base here. We're three, five, three, six, right? Yeah. Let's see, what are we on right now? Our flaps five, let's go down on another. Flaps 10. We can really go all the way down to 15. Here we go, guys. Moment of truth. I am nervous. Uh, X Plane 11 Boeing 777. I actually don't own it. I have the Boeing 767 and the 757, but I, didn't, I never have bought the 777. But you know what's funny? Is since I've been playing Infinite Flight, I've actually fell in love with the Boeing 777. And I've also flown the 777 in real life um, as a passenger. So, um,. I don't know when, um, I've kind of spent a lot of money lately on like a new joystick and stuff like that, so I may wait a little while. So maybe a while until you see me buying any new aircraft, unless somebody donates or whatever. Um, but I would like to fly the 777. 
I really would. I need to still update my 757. Um, honestly, if with uh, X-Plane, the 757 by x Factor no, is it? Flight Factor is my favorite aircraft to fly. Yeah, it's my favorite aircraft to fly. I love it. Um, but I have the X-Plane 10 version, so I don't know if it works on X-Plane 11. I'll give it a try. Hopefully all the systems work. All right, we're at 190. We should be slowing down to 180 here. Actually, 170. We should be slowing down to 170. I'm going to go another set of slaps. Uh, in real life, the airline that I flew the 777 was United. Um, where I live is a uh, United hub, so we flew United. So um, once we get um, on the localizer, we're going to hit the VOR loc button here. And then we're waiting for the glass slope to come down. We'll probably meet the glass slope. Uh, we'll stay at 8,000 until, until uh, we intercept the glass slope. That's what we'll do. I think we're good. Where is the airport? Field in sight. We're on final. Runway 36 right, blue 116. I'm going to turn on our runway turn off lights. Because I'm going to forget to do it when we get on the ground. What's a United A720? You mean A320? What is the A720? Ethan Ward, I'm really hurt, sad to hear about that, man. Really sad to hear about that. Your, your dad dying. Uh, my wife's mom died a few months ago, and it's she's still dealing with it now. So I'll be praying for you, bro. All right, we're going down to 170 knots. We are at flaps 15. Uh, not sure how far we are from the airport. We'll wait a little bit longer before we put out our um, our gear. Oscar Satch, how you doing, man? Good to see you. All right, here comes the glide slope. We don't hit VOR low here. That's gonna lock us on the glide slope, and here comes the approach. Or glide slope, gonna hit approach. So now, once that, once we meet that, it'll basically take control. And I'm gonna switch this right here to approach mode. Now we can see where we are in relation to the, where we are in relation to the runway. And so you can see the aircraft is already turning itself. There we are. We've uh, established on the glide slope and established on the localizer. I'm um, planning on landing in about all right, so now VNAV is turned off. We're going to plan to land about 160, 155-ish. We'll see what the aircraft can handle. Don't want to go too slow. Last time I did that, I actually stalled out and crashed. And a few of you are here to see that. Gladly, only a few of you are here to see that. I'm not sure how much more flaps we can add. We'll add another, another round. I like this right here. I wish that uh, Infinite Flight had something like this where it showed you uh, how fast you can go on each flap setting. This is very, very helpful. Uh, Lance Arrow, no, I'm not online. I'm on single player. There is a bit of a crosswind here too. Look at that. This is going to be interesting with a crosswind. So this is my, uh, I can't say my first ever flight on X-Plane, but this is one of my first flights on X-Plane. Uh, we failed at this flight last time a few days ago. The stream was extremely laggy and I finally got all that fixed. I found some settings that seemed to work out. And so this is uh, finally my first official X-Plane live stream. Uh, heart student, you can't hear, you need subtitles. I I'm sorry, man, I don't have subtitles. Um, I know that it's possible to allow the community to create subtitles for your channel, but I do not have that right now. All right, let's go ahead and add some uh, add the gear down. All 
We're flying the 737-800X, the Zebo mod. The volume for you is messed up. Everybody else is sounding clear. So I'm not sure what's wrong with yours. We're flying into Las Vegas. We're on final. All right, looking good. The aircraft has captured the glide slope. I'm going to go down to 165. Oh, look at that crosswind, my gosh. Man, that thing is crapped out. Holy crap, that crosswind is nuts. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, I'm nervous, I'm even more nervous than I was before. All right, I see two white, two red. Good thing we're using the ILS. <laughs> Holy crap, engine fire! Uh, and my sim is about to crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Oh, it crashed! Are you serious? Bro. What? The engine cut on fire and then it crashed. Are you serious? What just happened, guys? Everything was going perfect in the flight, and then boom, crash. Rip, yes, is the right word. Now, once we've seen the crash report, wow. The application has crashed. A report has been automatically generated that will help us understand the problem so that it can be resolved in the future releases. So, I guess I'll go ahead and uh, send it. Wow. Well, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that was very anticlimactic. Yes, we gotta see what the black box says. Man, I was really looking forward to that landing, man. What the heck? I am as upset as you guys. I'm like, I don't even know what to do now. I don't even know. Okay, we gotta we gotta think of an alternate plan. Let's open up X plane again. Yeah, so I'm thinking like, what am I gonna do? Like, I was towards the end of my flight. We were towards the end of this stream. I mean, yeah, I guess I could take off from Las Vegas and just like land again or something. No aviation. How you doing, man? I'm not doing what correctly. I did nothing wrong. I don't even know why the engines cut on fire. Um, I wish I, I probably have to go back and let, watch the stream, maybe look at the, uh, the engine temperature, the, uh, oil temperatures and stuff like that. That is very disappointing. Wow. Everything was literally going perfect. Literally going perfect. Uh. All right, so we're going to speed this up. I'm going to start with the engines running, which I don't usually do. And we're basically going to do it all over again. Not all over again. We're just gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take off from the runway we're gonna land on. We'll fly a basically a pattern um, and then land just so that we can get a landing. I have to at least land in this stream. I can't just end it without landing. Um, all right, so well, let me get this back on the screen for you guys. Wow, 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 wow. Like I am at, a, I am, I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe that just happened. That's crazy. All right. Uh, all right, we're gonna start from the runway. Forget this. We'll start here at two five right. 
confirm. What's funny is when you watch other people who stream and make videos for uh, if explain and, or any flight simulator in general, this, this is the kind of stuff that happens all the time. So, the life of a flight simmer. You almost throw your TV out the window. Yeah, I almost freaking flipped all the tables. Like, literally jumped out the window. Oh, well, heart suited. I'm glad you love the channel, man. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for sticking around. <laughs> Everybody who's still here, shout out to you guys. You are the, you guys are the real supporters. So I really appreciate everybody who is still here, even after a crash like that. Las Vegas at night would be dope. Yes, I am reading it. I said hello, Mo Aviation, a while ago, like a long time ago. I said hi to you. Yes, my game. The good thing is, positive note, is that I did not crash. Like, it was not me who crashed. It was the game. So I feel better that it was not me. If it was me who crashed, we would not be trying it again. How you doing, Sid Hart? 9 or 5, good to see you, man. Thank you, Dutchworks. He says you love my streams. I really appreciate that, man. I do my best. I work very hard to get what we get. <laughs> yeah, if, if, yeah, at least, hey, the good thing is that this flight was only an hour long. If this had been, like, one of those long, long flights, all right, let's get the... I've been even more pissed. So it's gonna really quickly turn a few of these things on. Uh, packs are on, APU is off, ground power is off, generators are on, yaw damper is on, pro peat is coming on. And like I said, for you guys who don't wanna fly, who don't wanna do all the uh, manual starts, uh, as you can see, I started with the aircraft already on, so you can do that if you like. And uh, we're gonna set our altitude. For 8,000 feet, that's gonna be, we're gonna basically go around and climb up to 8,000 feet. I'm gonna make a, let's make a right traffic. Uh, we're only gonna go like max one, uh, 200, 200 miles, 200 miles an hour max as fast as we're gonna go. Flight director are heading for this, or er, this, uh, Let's see, can I click it like, nope. It won't let me click it, okay. Uh, we're gonna go to my charts really quickly and take a look at what the runway heading, runway heading is uh, 258. All right, let's kill the music so we can enjoy the, the engine sounds. And we are ready to go. I think that was weird, guys. I really don't know what happened. Uh, I know that our altimeter needs to be at three zero three one three zero one seven. I'll do that on both sides again. Man, we got that black screen of death just now, man. I am so upset. All right, I think we don't have flaps either. Right? When I looked at the window, it didn't look like we looked like we had flaps out. So. Uh, where's my flaps at? There it is. Uh, let's go 15. And how heavy are we? Because we don't need to take off with a full freaking tank. Oh wait, that's not the right. Let's get out of here. We don't need to do the FMS for this. We're just going to do a pattern. We won't be using FMS. Weight and balance. Uh, we have two hours of fuel. No way we need two hours of fuel. Let's go down to... Uh, that's payload. Hold on. Total fuel weight will go down. I mean, we flew, we were like, you know, that's, that's good right there. Just under an hour of fuel. Center of gravity, payload weight. Oh, we know why. We were actually overweight earlier. Apply changes. And uh, we're ready to go. Oh, actually, let's check uh, the ILS frequency. Uh, that's still set. Yep. So our ILS is still good. Let's go. Oops, brakes. Oh, you know my track IR. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> reject takeoff, reject takeoff. I think my track IR stopped working too. Uh-huh, I did. That's not cool. 
I mean, I guess I don't really need it. Uh, I guess we'll use it. We'll go without it. I'm not going to wait any longer. It killed my track IR. Or, hold on. Maybe there's a way I can fix it. Uh, no. We're just going to go. You know, you're right. Uh, lands arrow. There's always some type of failure in my video. So, there you go. On this stream, Blue burns the tires out. All right, here we go. Well, you guys get to see another takeoff. Rotate. Oh yeah, we're a lot lighter this time. Uh, positive rate, gear up. It's actually really annoying to not have check IR working. I right, can make a right turn over the, uh, over Vegas over here. Sadly, I can't look over there because track IR is not working. Yeah, right, we're climbing up to 8,000 feet, guys. I highly doubt that the teacher is talking on the chat right now, but if you are, I hope you're having a great class. Uh, this video is very educational. We're teaching people how to fly aircraft, how to not crash, how to chase their dreams, how to find their passion. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe we hit birds. What if we hit birds? Maybe that's why we had an engine fire earlier. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the autopilot here. Oh, I gotta look over there. Oh man, using track IR is so much more helpful. <laughs> let's slow down too. We go auto throttle. All uh, heading mode. Oh no 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 no. Uh, speed level change. Our heading right now is. Three, four, eight. There we go. Now I can uh, relax my hand on the throttle on the uh, yoke. Uh, we're gonna keep our flaps at this setting. All right, climbing 8,000, we're gonna uh, fly a right crosswind just for a bit. Yes, 8,000 feet and remaining in the pattern. And no tomorrow, sorry I'll be flying expert server. Man, it sounds so good. There we go, 8,000 feet. Uh, Will Joe Games, this is not default scenery. This is a uh, Ortho 4 XP. So I created, uh, I created Ortho Photo for the uh, SoCal area all the way up to Las Vegas. There's Nellis uh, Air Force Base over there. Hudson River is very far from where we are. <laughs> Alright, we're going to make a right turn for a uh, downwind. That works for me. 
before heading zero eight zero. You're on P3D and scared to jump on X plane. That's funny because most people who play X plane are scared to jump on P3D, including me. Because uh, from what I understand, most people tell me that P3D, as far as flight simulation, is supposed to be more realistic. But as far as graphics, X plane looks better. That's what people tell me. Now I've only ever flown X plane, so I can only speak for X plane. We want to keep an eye out. When you're flying in a pattern, you want to keep an eye out for where the airport is. There it is. Um, blue is this default X plane. Uh, the scenery is not default. The plane is default. Um, but the plane is also using a free mod. So everything you see is free, but um, it's not default. So is there an A380 X plane? I am not sure. I'm not sure. That's a good question. I don't know. I think there is. So right now we're going to chill here at 195 knots uh, as we fly our uh, downwind. And as you can see, we still have a heck of a crosswind right here. Uh, so what are the winds right now? Winds are 26 to 020. Wow. 26 knots crosswind. But hey, we get to enjoy the view again. The mod for the plane is called Zebo, Z I B O, Zebo mod. So basically, search on Google Zebo seven three seven mod, and uh, you'll find it. It's free, and basically the difference is um, all the control, like all these buttons, um, in the default version uh, that X, X Plane gives you, all these buttons don't work. Most of them do, but some of them don't. Um, now Zebo added more functionality. Um, and the buttons actually matter now. So before you, you could still start the aircraft from a cold and dark state. You could still do all that stuff, but there was just a few options. It was a little less complicated. So basically, Zebo made it a little bit more realistic um, for starting up the 737. Uh, X Plane 11 costs about 60 bucks and in the US and USD. And that's if you don't get it on sale. It was on a, um, but with Christmas coming up, you'll probably see a lot of games going on sale. So keep an eye out, especially on Steam um, for new games. I'll be doing the same. I'm looking for a good first person shooter. Been thinking about getting into Rainbow Six Siege. Oh, look at that. If you look on the left wing, that is Las Vegas Motor Speedway. If you're into racing, uh, which I am highly into racing. That is Las Vegas Motor Speedway right there. That is cool. And that is uh, Nellis Air Force Base. Uh, you'll see me flying there on uh, DCS World a lot. That's pretty cool. I love being able to spot like actual uh, thing. That's the cool thing about having a uh, photo scenery is that you're able to actually find things. Yes, sir, Will James. Las Vegas iRacing. I do. I, today's stream was actually supposed to be iRacing, um, but I chose to instead do X Plane. So um, I may do an iRacing stream either later tonight, uh, my time, or Friday or Saturday. So I know Saturday I may have some extra time on Saturday to do some iRacing. So I want to do some iRacing right now. This week they're racing at Darlington, which is a very, very hard track. Oh man, look at that screenshot. All right, I think we should be okay with uh, turning. Let's go ahead and try to turn our right, uh, our right base now. So I am going to be doing an iRacing stream. Today was supposed to be iRacing, so I have to do a, a second stream on one of these days, either today, today tomorrow, or the next day. And uh, that track is super hard, though. I raced it last night, not for stream, but just for fun. And man, I struggled. I really struggled. Uh, yes, I will be flying for Friday Night Flight tomorrow on, on Infinite Flight. Um, but it will not be for the stream. I won't be doing a, a Friday night flight for the stream. It'll just be uh, probably on my own. Thank you for that, man. He says, I racing and explain. I sub for that. I'm glad. 
I'm not gonna lie, I was a little worried that some of you guys uh, may not want to watch, you know, explain, not explain, um, watch iRacing stuff. But hey, I like iRacing, I like racing in general, so whether people uh, like it or not, you know, it's, if it's not for you, then just don't watch it. Just don't watch the stream. It's that, it's that simple. Cool, Justin, you like racing too? Good to know. Good to know. That makes me feel a bit better about uh, bringing racing to the stream. If you look in my history of videos, you'll see a lot of racing videos. A lot of iRacing, a lot of NASCAR, Heat, Project Cars, all that stuff. Um, the quality of those videos are not that great because you know it was earlier on in my stream life. And uh, I've learned a lot since then, so I want to bring back iRacing. All right, where is the airport? I think that's it right there. And we are a bit high. Yes, we are. So let's go ahead and descend down to 4,000 feet. And level change. And we're going to go down to 185. Nice. Infinite Flight Stream says, where is Infinite Flight? We're flying X-Plane, bro. Yeah, 24 hour Le Mans is pretty sick. Uh, I've, been trying to try, I've been trying to decide which series to race. Um, when it comes to racing, my favorite series is NASCAR. But I've been thinking about possibly doing uh, road racing. So I don't know. I think I'm going to do NASCAR, though. That's because that's what I enjoy the most. I could do both, but I want to focus on one and just really get good at it. I'm getting worried because there is our runway right there. We're a bit off. Let's go ahead and turn. Let's switch this to approach. We're going to turn our, VR, our localizer on. Go to 170. No, we go 165. We're right now we're too high. Way too high. Way, 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 way too high. Let's see, flaps are we'll put some more flaps down. Right, so we're established on the localizer, but we've missed the localizer. So the plane's going to be, be turning us back into the localizer to get us back on the thing. But we're way above the glide slope, so we need to get our altitude way, way, way down if we're going to actually make it, or else we'll have to go around. And who wants to go around? No, not me. I do not want to go around. Not after that last situation. Yeah, I mean, if you're not in the racing, uh, the thing, if you're not in the racing, um, you can still tune into the stream. You can still watch the streams and just watch while you're flying Infinite Flight or something like that. Um, I'm completely cool with that. If you're not in a racing, you can still come here, hang out with us, talk in the chat. Let's go ahead and add, some, add the gear down. There it is. All right, gear's going down. We're going to keep an eye out here if our, on, our, um, on our temperatures. I don't know why we got an engine fire last time. That's a bit weird. You guys are saying we're laggy. All right, we have met the localizer. Nice. All right, we've, found, we've, we've caught up with the uh, localizer and the glide slope. We are on final and ready to land. One more set of flaps. Whew. Okay, here we go. Pray for blue. Yes, sir. Pray for blue. It's not laggy for me. We do have a major crosswind. Not a major crosswind. We have. Uh, winds are 11 at 0 to 0. So just a slight cross crosswind. All right, guys, make sure you are in your seats.
And uh, I'm going to have to reach over here to uh, disengage the autopilot here in a second. Ooh, and we're down though. That head shake though, that head shake was dope as heck. guys we made it oh too much turn I'm trying I wasn't looking at the right thing yeah it didn't do a retard call I don't know uh, Boeing's don't really do retard that's only an Airbus thing I believe uh oh I think we're still in reverse are we Oh, yeah, we are. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I gotta figure out these buttons. All right, that needs to be off. We want to go... How do I turn off the reversers? All right, they're off. I think they're off. Yeah, they're off now, cool. I was like, I couldn't get the freaking thing to stop. Alright, we'll get rid of the spoilers now, too. Oh, spoilers are gone. We'll bring up the uh, flaps. They should be coming up. Yeah, they're coming up. Yeah, those bro, the noises on this thing are just uh, they give, they give you they give you chills. This thing sounds so good. Sorry, my brakes are set to max effort, so whenever I hit the brakes, the head shake just goes nuts. I really wish my track IR was working for uh, when I'm taxiing, so I can look around. But hey, what am I gonna do? Where are we parking today? Welcome to Las Vegas, McLaren International. I don't know what the weather is, but it seems pretty clear to me. I'm parking over here. Pretty good flight, except for that uh, X-plane crashing on us in the end. Uh, thankfully, I had enough time to go ahead and get back in the air really quick, fly uh, a quick right pattern, right traffic. And uh, landing wasn't too bad. We're going to watch it here in a second once we get to the gate. Looks like all the uh, crew and everybody's here. And we're just going to have to run them over because they're not going to get out of the way. Nobody's even driving them. Ghost people are driving those things. All right, I think it should be good. Brakes are on. Whew, we made it, guys. We made it. All right, we'll go ahead and turn the APU on now. 
Wait for the APU to come up. Uh, will I be flying Infinite Flight off stream today? I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'll probably go check the IFATC uh, uh, ATC schedule to see where they're opening today because I would like to fly with some ATC. There it is. ETC is rising. It'll kill all the land lights. It'll kill the... Uh, leave that on. The wings come on. Uh, what else do we need? Ground power is, is available, but I'm not going to turn it on just yet. While waiting for the APU, we'll shut off the right engine. And you guys can hear how good that sounds. Ah! What button is it? It's this one, okay, sorry. There we go. Engine, right engine shutting off now. Cod Rebel, how you doing, man? Good to see you. There we go. All right, massive cautions on. There is APU. Now, really, we would only turn the APU on if we were, uh, if we were going to do another flight, but we're not doing another flight. So technically, we could just shut everything off. This is the end. This is our last stop for today. I will see you guys in the next X-Plane stream. I'll probably do one a week. I'll probably do one X-Plane stream a week um, for, for now. Uh, you guys are free to go. And... Um, I think that's all we need. Oh, right, the left engine's still on. I almost forgot. What button is it? Six? What is my quick key for that? It's four, okay. All right. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this stream today. Um, I really did. It was a lot of fun. We finally got this to work. Uh, we've been trying for so long. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy that we were able to finally get x to work and it streamed pretty well. Uh, for the most part, there wasn't too much lag happening up until the end. We had a few issues here and there. But for the most part, it was pretty stable. Um, quality, everything look, didn't look too bad. So pretty excited about that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the flight. Um, expect to, like, like I said, expect to see some more x -plane flights maybe once a week from me. Not sure which day of the week it'll be. Um, I'll still be flying Infinite Flight, um, but uh, I may try Tuesdays or Thursdays. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But um, thank you guys for flying with us today. Thank you for flying Blue Arrow. And um, I hope you guys have a great day, a great week. If I don't see you again, peace, love, and God bless you. Remember, you got three choices. Give up, give in, or give it all you you got i love you guys man thank you for all your amazing support everybody who's been here since day one guys you guys are amazing um you make this you make it worth like you make streaming fun um you know i'm gonna be here whether you're here or not like my what, what i do doesn't depend on on the people entirely you know i'm gonna f follow my passion and follow what i love to do no matter what and uh, oh wow we forgot to do replay i forgot i keep forgetting this is not infinite flight and we can actually do replays so hold on before we get out of here let's do the replay so hold on I'm going to record it, too. So we will get rid of this stuff. I was ready to get out of here. <laughs> I was ready to go. I was like, forget the replay. I want to see, because from the cockpit, it looked like it was kind of rough because you saw the head shake and stuff. But I want to see if that is 100% true. Hold on. I'm looking for something. There it is. All right, here we go. Uh, Alt-R. Like back here somewhere. I think it's loading, I'm not sure. Hopefully this doesn't crash my sim. Sometimes whenever you go back to replay mode, it wants to crash your sim. How long have I been sitting here? Are you serious? 
Oh, you know what? I forget that this replay is shorter because uh, we only did that flight to and from there. All right, there we go. This is a good enough view right here. And uh, we'll do from uh, from the runway, I believe. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's try it out. Let's see, guys. Let's see. Woo. That was a fun flight. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, I still remember uh, GL too. That's so cool. That looks so dope. This is uh, just a bit of crosswind there. Yeah, yeah, it was a bit hard. It was a bit hard. We came down a bit hard, that's for sure. Probably should have put some more uh, some more throttle in there. But you saw that wing flex. <laughs> it's still a... Uh, Uh, so the passenger wing view, the window seat view. Man, look at the scenery though. That mountain out there looks cool. Yeah, I had the uh, spoilers out for a little bit to make sure we got slowed down. I thought I'd, I thought I got rid of them. I guess I forgot to take them away. Here we go. All right, engine to idle and uh, oh yeah, that was that was rough. That was rough. Yes, sir, ladies and gentlemen, you can get your baggage at baggage claim three. Yeah, I didn't know the spoilers were on, to be honest. I thought I, I thought that I got rid of them. Alright, what other view can we do? Ooh, I like this side too. That wing flex though. Like watching, here we go. Oh man, that head shake adds so much. Like watching the replay, I, I've been in landings like this on real planes. Like I have been, yeah, spirit landing. <laughs> I've been on the aircraft when somebody landed this hard and I felt a flashback of it just now. I was like, Ugh, like your heart drops. Just for that one second when you hit. All right, one more view and we'll be out of here. Which view should we do though? Should we do the uh, underbelly view? Or should we do like another exterior view like this or something? Outside view following, gotcha. We'll do this right here. All right, so we were like, nose is already up. We were just, we, we need to possibly maybe flare a little bit more maybe. From the outside, it doesn't look that bad. From the outside, like when you're following the plane, it doesn't look that bad. But whenever you're on a wing view or watching from like the tower, it looks pretty bad. Speaking of that, what's the tower view look like? Let's do a tower view. This will be the last one we get out of here.
it, it didn't look that bad from tower view either <laughs> but uh yeah and we were also also the right side of the runway too so that's the other thing but other than that guys good flight yeah i don't know from tower view graphics look pretty bad But alright guys, we're gonna get out of here. Like I said, three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I will see you guys next time, next stream. Next next stream will be Infinite Flight, and then next week we'll hit, uh, come back to explain. If you have any flight suggestions, uh, send those to the Discord channel. That link is in the description. If you're watching on Twitch, that link is on the uh, stream feed. So go there and check that out. If you have any flight suggestions you want, where you want to see me fly on X-Plane next or on Infinite Flight, go ahead and put that there. Um, but other than that, guys, peace, love. God bless you. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for joining.